It's a beautiful sea. Look at the views. Look at these views. Ah. Oh. A little bit too wide. Welcome everybody to another episode of Full Course Yellow. My name is Angel and today I have a really um, special episode to present you. Um, this is going to be the Japanese Luxury Cars Challenge. Uh, it's very special one uh, well, it's for two reasons. The first reason is because uh, it's the first request that I had. It's the first time that actually somebody requested a video from, from my channel. So I'm going to try to to make somebody happy today by making this video. And the second reason is because the request came from one of my best friends. His name is Daniel or Danny. Uh, Daniel and I grew up together in, in the streets of Madrid. Uh, him and I from Spain. That's why you see actually this guy in the background just because, well, I like to basically introduce my videos with this guy on the front. But anyway. Uh, him and I were actually friends since 1990, 1991, even though we both were going to the same uh, school. Uh, we were different uh, grades and different classrooms. Well, basically we both knew each other from, from, from school because, first of all, it was a very small school. And, uh, and because we were both very handsome and popular, uh, and handsome uh, and popular people need to get together, and that's what happened to us. So we got together because we were handsome and popular. So, well, in 1990, 1991, basically we started to hang out and uh, we became in separate friends until basically now we're still together. Unfortunately, uh, life takes us different places. I came to the States. He ended up in Nicaragua or Costa Rica or something like that. I have no idea. In Banana Republic. I call it Banana Republic because it's an easy place to remember. So anyway, he requested me uh, the Japanese luxury cars. Uh, that obviously consists of Lexus, Infiniti and Acura. But before I continue, I'm going to explain something. <clears throat> I already made this video once. Uh, of course, you're not going to be able to see it. You don't know that. But I'd like, I like you to know that it's, uh, it's not this game, this, this episode is not going to be as fresh for me as it's going to be for uh, basically the other videos. Which, you know, you probably won't know the difference, but I know the difference. I like to make my videos and, and, and drive those cars for the first time and have my, uh, basically my first reactions with those cars that I'm just racing for the first time for the video. Unfortunately, um, this, this video, the video that I made yesterday, uh, it came out goofy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had some technical issues, so it went south. And I had to, it forced me, it forces me right now to remake the video completely. So this is from the scratch. I'm gonna try to follow the same line that I uh, that I followed yesterday. I'm gonna try to say the same stupid joke, the same stupid thing. So, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit, you know, fresh. Even though I already know the output, and who knows? Actually, maybe the output will change because what I did yesterday has nothing to do with what I'm doing today. And maybe I will have a better hand in one of the cars, and maybe the other one will be not as good. So we'll see. It could be actually, it could be going uh, different ways. Or it will go the same way. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see until the end, and uh, I may, uh, maybe I'll let you know what happened. So before wasting more more time, uh, let me introduce you the cars that win a race today. All right, the first one is the uh, Infinity. This is the Infinity Q50. Uh, let me see if I can say it right. Oh, Rouge. I think it's pronounced Au Rouge. Uh, Au Rouge? Au Rouge. Au Rouge. Au Rouge? All right, well, I don't know how to pronounce it really. I think it's French, but while we're a Japanese car manufacturer, will uh, have a name like this. Who knows? Japanese uh, are people uh, uh, that works in strange ways. Uh, well, this is the Infinity. This is uh, the Q50 Au Rouge. Uh, as you see it right now, I have to, I have to make it clear. This, this car are basically highly uh, highly modified which means that I throw every single part that I can actually throw to this car uh, to make it faster but they are not finely tuned if you know what I mean I didn't actually tune the cars so they handle the way that actually they manufacture it uh, basically intended to, to handle it uh, it does not have any kind of like downforce at all it does not have any of this has uh, they both have uh, race tires 
They both have, they don't have any cage, no waste reduction. Uh, the, I, I chose the lightest rims, that's, that's true. Uh, they both have, both of them, this and the other car will have 20 inch wheels. Uh, they both have anti-roll bars, uh, but it, it doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, downfall. So it's basically the way that you see it is the way that it came out of a uh, manufacturer's uh, showroom. Let's pretend. Um, what I did that is because I know my good friend Danny doesn't like actually. Uh, he likes modified cars, but he doesn't. He doesn't like to look like a modified car. He looks luxury cars that's why we're doing this he likes japanese cars he likes actually also european cars in fact he used to own a g37 an infinity g g37 and several uh, bmw so he is into luxury cars in general but we went with the japanese this time to make it actually a nice twist i believe he owns an acura right now i am not really sure don't quote me on that but he i don't know because he didn't tell me but he showed me a picture so i assume that that was that was his car maybe not i don't know he will have to tell me uh, anyway so yeah they basically are just uh basically no way reduction the cars are actually inside the same way that it came out of factory uh, I did not actually uh, remove the interior to make them lighter or anything like that. So this is the way that actually I know my friend Danny would like to buy his uh, his car. So this car here uh, has 770, no, I'm lying. Uh, yeah, sorry, 773 horsepower and 610 uh, pounds feet of torque. Um, this is the fastest i have to tell you this is the fastest out of the uh, the, uh, the cars i'm gonna be racing today i'm just gonna spoil the end right now uh, but uh, uh this car is also all-wheel drive so and it's also a little bit heavier than the other one that that i'm not gonna spoil it but that that actually will play in against the car basically because it seems it's it actually feels heavy uh on the track and you'll see it um so basically, yeah, this is the Infinity FQ50 with 773 horsepower. And this is the uh, Lexus RCF. As you can see, it borrowed the exhaust pipes from uh, the Lexus uh, ISF, which is happens to be one of my favorite Lexuses. Lexuses? Lexuses. Lexus Lexuses. Is actually Lexus a plural name? Lexuses? How you said the plural for Lexus? Well, if Lexus says it, it's not a war now, it is. I I say it is a war now. So yeah, this is one of my uh, sorry. The ISF is one of my favorite uh, Lexus says. Uh, aside from obviously the LFA, which is one of my favorite supercars of all time. Uh, a lot of people complain that the grill is huge. Well, it fits actually the new design language from uh, Lexus. Uh, I think it fits. I think it looks great. It, it doesn't bother me. I don't hate it. I don't like it. I like it and I don't like it But you know, it's just it's one of those things that I don't care. It works for me uh, So I'm not gonna really complain about it. Uh, it's kind of funny because if you see it from the uh, side like this It's like all grill It's so strange. It looks like actually like um, it's like something is blowing up from inside and it's expanding It's kind of creepy. Anyway, so yeah, this is the Lexus uh, RCF uh, It stands for remote control fast um, <clears throat> this one is actually the slowest, like I said before with the Infinity. This is actually the slowest. It has uh, only 689 horsepower and the torque is like about 514. Um, so even though it's very, very fast, it's still actually uh, slower. But this one here is rear wheel drive, so that is going to be a lot lighter than the uh, all wheel drive that the Infinity uh, basically has. Uh, again, it has uh, is completely modified, but not tuned. So the handling is what it is, and nothing I did to change that. Basically, uh, the tires are actually the lightest tires I could find. Uh, this actually worked very, very good because it has that blue stripe going around. So it works. It works really, really good. It goes uh, very good. Also, the colors are from manufacturers. Nothing changed in the colors either. I like both colors: the red from the Infinity and the blue from this one. I always like the blue Infinities. They look phenomenal. Uh, very, very sporty. Uh, well, and that's it. Let's take these cars to the truck and see which uh, luxury um, Japanese car is the fastest. All right, welcome to Prague. 
Uh, we are in the Czech Republic. Um, I chose this track because I thought uh, it's a very sophisticated uh, city, uh, very old. One of the, for my opinion, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, not just in Europe but in the world. And that goes against Madrid, which is my favorite city because I was born there. Uh, but this obviously is one of the most beautiful cities, and I thought it was very sophisticated to bring uh, luxury Japanese cars. Uh, to a very 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 old city like this um, by now you probably realize that I only have Lexus and, and Acura you probably think whoa Angel there's actually like three Japanese luxury cars uh, where is Acura? well unfortunately Acura in this game doesn't have any luxury cars uh, it has only two cars and both of them are basically mostly into the um, let's say the into into the uh, import tuner section is uh, the sports compact cars but they are not luxury uh, you know sports cars unfortunately so they they are completely separate uh, uh, sections and completely different segments unfortunately so I cannot include Acura as much as I want to I can't because it just it just will look like goofy uh, honestly, it would look uh, like very, very weird. So we're gonna just let Lexus and Acura battle uh, this out. And uh, well, let's take actually the first car to the track. We're gonna be doing uh, for four. Uh, we're gonna race these cars for four laps, and the fastest uh, wins, obviously. Uh, now I'm gonna stick to the uh, Forza Motorsports uh, rules. The rules are in this game is that uh, if okay if you get penalized penal penalties in this game comes in different forms like if you step outside of the uh, the track you get penalties if you hit the uh, the wall you get a penalty so that penalty basically even though it could be the fastest lap in history that will never count it will never go to the leaderboards so we're gonna actually stay with those uh, with those rules. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is very itchy today. Uh, so we're gonna stick to those rules, and uh, so the fastest lap, the fastest clean lap, will win the race. So if, for instance, th this lap actually I make it in an impressive, uh, I don't know, one minute and one second, uh, if it's actually penalized, I'm never gonna use that uh, that lap. So it has to be clean and clean and normal. So here we go. All right. So these are the bad. I can say that I know this car is heavier. I already tested before. Out of the two, this is the heaviest one. Uh, it also f it feels bigger. It looks bigger at least in in this game. But uh, going around the corner definitely feels a lot bigger. Uh, this is a rear wheel drive, and the Infinity is rear wheel drive. So the uh, all right. So the 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 light the weight of this car will play in its favor. Uh, sorry, this one is the lightest. Bruh. See, I'm getting everything confused now because I already know the cars, and knowing the cars is not is not actually a surprise for me. So anyway, this one is the lightest. Uh, so this one actually breaks <laughs> a lot better. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, so the Infinity basically, well, the Infinity has more power, but again, it's uh, it's, it's it's heavier, and this one it's uh, is lighter, but it has less power, and it's rear wheel drive. I personally like uh, all-wheel drive better. I like more contact on the ground, but hey, what can I do? And I love this city. Look at this. This is very, very impressive. Look at like that cathedral or church or whatever it is. I mean, not like I never saw a cathedral before, but this. Look at this place right here. How much history is behind all these buildings? Wow, and it's just beautiful. It's just I don't know. It's just it looks like somebody. I uh, came to this city and decided to make it just beautiful. It's not like it was made you know progressively beautiful no it's like somebody decided to be like that like Disney World it's not like it actually like you go to Epcot and every single country looks very nice and it represents the country very well uh, it's because it was designed to look like this but uh, this city was actually made <laughs> it's not like actually you know they made it you know from the scratch and like oh we're gonna do this this and this so it just look look at this bridge anyway so yeah so four laps, clean lap, wins the race. Uh, this car feels like it wants to actually uh, spin around because of those rear tires. It loses a little bit of power going around the corners if I actually uh, press it all the way down. 
it has a very nice sound that uh, I think is a V8 and uh, I'm not really sure if uh, the Infinity is a V8 or a V6 either way I think I think it's a V6 uh, not really sure what kind of uh, motor uh, specifications I don't know how many liters I don't know any of that stuff because again I am not a big fan of technical you know I just like cars I like how they look I like I like uh, basically the uh, emotional aspect of the cars not the technical aspect and all I care also about the cars is how fast they can go and the horsepower that to me says everything look at this bridge oh my god it's beautiful Anyway, so we're gonna when we reach actually the third lap, we're gonna do it in silence. I like I like to actually not just enjoy the sound of the car. I want you all to enjoy at least one lap of silence, uh, where you can hear the uh, the motor of the car and enjoy the the drive more and, and more than my talking. But also it's because I like to actually keep one lap at least one lap where I can concentrate 100% in the car and concentrate on the lap, so I can get the best lap time out of that. So. We're gonna finish this lap and here we go. All right, that was the end of uh, the uh, third lap. So this is the fourth lap and last lap. Um, hopefully I did better on that lap than I normally do because when I'm talking, I am actually very concentrated on my talking as well. So I, uh, I split my concentration in two ways, uh, on the track and my talking because I'm trying to say things, obviously. And since I don't have anything in script, I like to basically improvise uh, the things I said. So yeah, so uh, my friend likes actually uh, luxury cars with a little bit of performance. I like, I'm actually completely the opposite. I like, uh, I like basically uh, performance over overall. I don't care. My last two cars, uh, the Evo and the uh, Ford Focus ST, uh, yeah, I had an Evo 10. Uh, they both had nothing, no luxury, nothing. It had no luxurious things. Uh, the only thing that I had in both cars that actually are luxurious, the Evo had the, uh, the uh, the uh, Bluetooth, but it came with it, and the uh, the ST had is basically both both cars, but the ST especially is actually the uh, the lower stream model because I don't I don't like to spend basically money on things that I really don't need. Uh, it's nice to have, but I really don't need. Why? Because first of all, why I have a GPS, I have a single GPS, you know, the, uh, where I can put anywhere that I want. Why would I want a screen with a GPS? Uh, I don't have heated seats. Why? My 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 butt doesn't get cold. Okay. So why would I want a fucking? Ah, sorry. I said yeah. Word. I promised my friend Danny I won't actually course again. But why would I need actually um, a butt warmer or a 
or a steering wheel with uh, with heated the steering wheel why would i need that that's all that stuff is making the car first of all heavier and stupider so i don't need any other stuff so i don't need to spend all the money on things i'm not gonna be able to really enjoy look i live really really close to my work okay uh it takes basically 12 14 minutes to get to my house why by the time actually my bag gets warm i'm already home so i don't need it well that's the finish line so my fastest lap was two minutes and seven seconds uh let me see i'm gonna write it down so i won't forget two minutes seven seconds so we're gonna leave it there and now we're gonna take uh the infinity uh q50 rouge to the track and see how it performs all right so here we are now with the infinity uh ready to ready to race basically uh the infinity has uh 773 horsepower so it's the fastest out of the two uh but it's also heavier because it has an all-wheel drive system that basically uses more components to have all the wheels uh rolling as you all know probably but for those who doesn't know yeah it it, it, it requires more parts uh, piecing, uh moving parts and mechanical parts that will make obviously the car a lot heavier than a rear wheel drive uh you know, although it looks more compact and smaller than the uh, lexus rcf but uh uh, again, I'm not a very technical guy, so I didn't actually, I, I did not, I did not uh, uh, note uh, the uh, the weight of the cars or anything like that. Um, but it, consider, okay, consider, just remember this: I did not actually touch the uh, uh, the um, what's it called? I did not, I did not reduce the uh, the light the light weight of these cars, so they basically stuck. So everything is inside, everything, all the seats, the radios, everything, the spare tire, everything that comes in the car is in both of them. I didn't touch that, touch that, or change it. So it's basically what the car weighs is what it is. And some of the parts were lighter, and other ones actually were heavier. But uh, you know, it is what it is. So all right, let's take it to the track now. So as I was saying before. Um, yeah, I'm actually not a big fan of uh, including a lot of little toys in cars. I, to me, it's I think it's, it's just spending money on things that you really don't need. I don't travel that much. I don't I don't go too far. I don't I don't need all that stuff because to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna have the time to very uh, basically enjoy it. Um, why would I need? I have an XM radio. Why would I need actually to pay for an extra XM radio? Uh, I just basically mount and dismount the one I have right now and I'm good to go. Uh, I don't need actually uh, a, a, a satellite uh, sat nav, sat nav or uh, GPS in my car because I have my own GPS, it's a TamTam -tam and it works just fine and if I need to I can actually carry it with me and put it in a new car if it's a rental I can put it in a rental or I can put it in a motorcycle or I can put it actually in my pocket and if I'm walking it has an option that I can walk around with it so and that the car doesn't give me all that stuff so I don't need that Besides, these days, phones does a lot of things more than a car. So, yeah. Uh, so, I don't need to pay more for that, for all the extra little shit that you get, which in reality, you really don't need, like, like a, like a steering wheel with, uh, with actually warms your hands. Like, really? Like, really, your hands are that cold that you cannot freaking drive a car? You cannot grab the steering wheel? I mean, I, I have actually cold hands driving a car, but it's bearable. It, it didn't kill me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, the bad warmer is a different thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you have actually a, a finicky bad that it needs to be actually warm all the time? I don't know what kind of bad you have that actually needs to be warm all the time. I don't know. All right, again, people like that, I don't. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to make fun of you. You like all the stuff? I think it's pretty stupid. Let's just be honest. I don't like it. Maybe you think stupid is good. Your opinion is as good as mine, I guess. But there you go. All right. So anyway, uh, the Infinity feels a little bit more planted on the ground. It feels more stable because it has the all-wheel drive. So I feel more confident going around the corners when it wants to break. But it feels a little bit heavier too, as you can see that in that corner because that didn't break in time. Uh, I have to anticipate the uh, the breaking points a little bit earlier because if not, I'm gonna miss I'm, I'm gonna miss it and I'm basically gonna be out of the track. It has a nice sound too. I think this is a V6. I'm not really sure. 
I don't know because Infinity has a really distinctive sound too, so I can really I can really tell when Infinity is a V6 or a V8. Hump. I'm leaving marks on the ground right now because my tires are spinning. And I'm on. I'm not spinning. I'm just sliding. Oh, I missed the point. It's a beautiful sea. Look at the views. Look at these views. Ah. A little bit too wide. So yeah, going back to my ah, oh, look at this, so heavy, it just it missed completely the uh, the breaking point. Yeah, my cars, the last cars I had did not have any kind of like options or anything like that. My Kirin car, the only one that I actually I had I had a couple options, but I went I went with the uh, lower package, which includes basically just. Uh, uh, sunroof and that was it that's the only thing I was in between that or the uh, the Sony uh, infotainment which I can care less about it makes it look a lot nicer but you know what I prefer to have the uh, the uh, the sunroof I like to open uh, like to open in summer I enjoy actually the nice breeze and, and fresh air I don't like uh, air conditioning either uh, especially in summer But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's the basically the basic is the is the basic uh, package. I didn't want to spend more money on it. It was a very cheap uh, very cheap deal. All right, so this lab uh, we're gonna do it completely silent, so you can enjoy the sound of the car. So heavy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the sound of the car. I know I did. I really like the sounds, both of them. This one and the uh, and the Lexus, they have really, really good sounds. Uh, well, uh, both 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 cars have actually so far clean laps. So it's going to be very competitive when it comes to uh, at the end of uh, which one is going to have the, uh, the fastest lap. We already know that the uh, Lexus did it in what? Two minutes and seven seconds, something like that. I don't remember right now. I'm horrible for numbers. That's why I had to write it down. <clears throat> this one, I don't know how fast it did it uh, so far. If any of you are paying attention to the lap times, I am not. So to me, it's going to be a surprise at the end. So we'll see. Let's see how it goes. So, but so far, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going. 
Oh, let's try this time. There you go. Yeah, if you don't anticipate, like I said before, if you don't anticipate the uh, the break-in with this car, you, you're you gonna be out of the track. Uh, fortunately, that is not out of the track. I, I guess the game considers that part still part of the track. That part. Yeah, so I didn't penalize me in any of the times I did that. Which is actually surprising, to tell you the truth, because nobody will penalize me. And I, uh, a couple times I came very close to this corner here, which I tried to get very, very close, right there. It's, uh, it's surprising I didn't hit it either, because every time I try to do this, and this part here too. I normally have one of these two corners, the one here and the one before. I normally hit them, and people are like, why are you cutting through that corner, though? Because I can't. A lot of people actually goes around it. I don't need to go around. No, Ooh, I thought I was going to hit that part. Holy shit. So yeah, a lot of people goes around it. I don't need to go around it. All right, last corner and final straight away and finish line. Two minutes and six seconds. Holy cow, that was close, people. Two minutes and six, six seconds. So. This means actually the Infinity is the uh, winner, the clear winner, which means that all-wheel drive wins races. Uh, also, more horsepower wins races. Despite the point, despite the fact that it's a lot, it's a lot uh, uh, heavier. Uh, more horsepower means I actually can win a race. So there you have it. Uh, Japanese uh, luxury cars, RCF versus. Infinity FQ50 or Rouge uh, and the Infinity took the trophy this time. Well, that's all I have this time. Thank you all so much for coming. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And here comes actually the uh, surprise I have for you guys and for Danny especially since I'm dedicated, dedicating this car, this uh, uh, race to him. Uh, this is the Acura Integra Type R. I had to bring it because it's an Acura. Even though it's actually not the same segment, I wanted Acura to really represent with something, so I brought this car. Now, the difference in between this car and the other two, uh, the other two cars, the uh, the RCF and the um, uh, the Q50 are the street cars that actually goes fast, uh, but it doesn't look like they're actually street racers or anything like that. Well, this one is the opposite. Uh, they are not, it's not a luxury car, it's a sports compact car, but this one is uh, track only car which means it's actually I decided I made this car specifically uh, and just especially for 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 track racing so this in theory it's not uh, a street legal car okay by any means it doesn't have it doesn't have radio it doesn't have seats it doesn't have it's actually as light as possible um, Everything everything on it is basically it has uh, lots of downforce as you can see it has the front split a splitter It has uh, it has the uh, rear wing uh, It has tons of downforce. I make actually the rear very heavy because I also uh, I also uh, Converted this car from front from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive So uh, it's more of a drifter. I have to say because I have to hold the back. It's more of a drifter than actually a gripper uh, it doesn't grip as much as I wish, even though I had a lot of downforce on the rear. But uh, this car was <laughs> it likes to, it likes. I have to hold it back. Trust me, you'll see. Well, this car is not actually the fastest, but it's super, super light. Uh, uh, it has actually, uh, it has a, a huge turbo, and it's actually a performance, high performance turbo. So it's gonna, you're gonna hear that thing going. Uh, but this car, uh, as you see it right now, is 623 horsepower and 384 uh, feet pounds of torque, or pounds feet of torque. Sorry, uh, it's uh, again. It went from uh, front wheel to rear wheel. It has 18 inches wheels, and I have to give a shout out to the person who made the design. Uh, I didn't make it. Uh, it's very simple, but somebody else designed the car. Uh, that was uh, Pelida or Pelida Achilles uh, or Aquiles. I'm not really sure what language that is, but it's Pelida Achilles, the person who uh, uh, on Xbox Live designed this car. Uh, it's a car that you basically you will see in the streets. It's a uh, it's one of those import tuners that you see when you go to your uh, to your uh, local uh, cars and coffee or your uh, Sunday night uh, Walmart meets and things like that. Well, there you go. Let's take it to the track and see how it performs against the uh, other Japanese luxury cars.
Yeah, this is a car that you see basically driven by a very young guy with a backwards hat, a huge logo t-shirt, uh, tight jeans, and stupid sneakers. I hate sneakers. Alright, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm a little actually scared of this car because it's more, it's more of a track car. It's not as fast as the other ones, I have to admit, but uh, because it's a lot lighter, uh, it has more parts that actually are more high performance than the other two cars. Uh, the downforce is going to help me a lot to keep this car in the, on, the, on the ground. Uh, this car is going to fly here. Yeah, it's a bigger jump, so I have to hit the brakes as soon as I touch ground. I can take this corner a lot faster too. It likes to, uh, it, it likes to skid. It likes, this, this, this car likes to go around the corner sliding. As you can see here, it's just ready to go. Look at that. So that's why I say I have, I'm holding it back because if I let it go, it will actually slide around, it will do a drift. And I'm not drifting right now, I'm actually racing. It breaks, it breaks when I need to break, look at that. The, uh, the Infinity actually doesn't, <laughs> it didn't have really good brakes, the Alexus did, the Infinity didn't. But this one actually breaks. I, ha I can actually break a little bit later if I need to. I'm not gonna need to put too much effort. Again, I, I, if you remember from the beginning, I, uh, I have to repeat this race and I know how this car performs already. So I kind of like already, I'm cheating a little bit. So I already know how this car can do around the corner. So I can, I, I, I know I can actually take I need to or later breaking and and all that stuff, but you know the uh, the thing is that I know I know actually I don't need to put much effort into this car because well you'll see. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh come on! Look at the downforce. It's actually I'm actually going around the corner with a red line, and uh, with not like it means anything, but the downforce is basically helping me to keep that car planted on the ground like breaking again a little bit later but look at that see I, I reached the breaking point when I need it there you go it goes around the corner very nicely actually don't hit that don't hit that I lost very precious t time on that thing a right, big jump hit the brakes as soon as I touch the ground <laughs> You know what? Let's go all out with this car. Let's push it to the limit. No, not, not that way. There you go. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is so itchy today. It's like scratchy. Maybe I'm getting sick, but I doubt it. Oof. He did a strange thing on that corner, uh, on that exit. This is one of my favorite parts of the track, right here. This building going under, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm trying to look back, but <laughs> I'm entering this corner, so not a good idea. Come on, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. There you go. No! Oh, I got... Oh, shit, that's what I get for looking back. Oh, now I'm gonna pay for everything. Jesus. Alright, so, okay, so it's only the second lap. I hope it's not gonna penalize me uh, in the next one, because it does it a lot. Sometimes the penalty carries on for the next lap, which I don't think is fair. Uh, Forza, if you're listening, turn 10, if you're listening, don't do that. I get penalized. Look at that. I got penalized in this lap too. Which means that I only have one last chance. It will be the last, the very, very last uh, uh, lap to basically redeem myself and have a clean lap without getting without getting penalties. It is, it is messed up. Forza, change that, okay? I don't need to get penalized in the next one where I didn't do anything in this lap yet. Oh, look at that. The drifter inside this car.
I am completely disappointed I hit that corner. I was the only guy that did not hit any corners. So now I'm gonna, I got penalized for two laps. So even if this one was the fastest lap, I will never be able to use it because we're going by uh, uh, Forza rules. So only only the cleanest lap, only the clean lap will uh, will make the uh, the cut. So and obviously it wasn't the second lap, and it's not gonna be the second lap, and it's obviously not gonna be the first lap because the first lap is never the fastest lap ever, unless you do it purposely. But no, the first the first lap is basically it's a, it starts from it starts actually from the um, from the grid, and yeah, it takes a while to get speed. have to put it all out in the next lap without hitting the corners obviously so I'm just gonna let actually uh, I'm just gonna let the race go I'm not gonna be doing any talking maximum concentration and and so you can enjoy also the uh, the sound of the car so here we go which we like Oof, twitchy twitchy Now my split time is better since I'm faster than my last lap. I will see. Yeah, I'm five seconds uh, faster than uh, my last lap. Let's see if it's true at the end of this. Uh, at the end of the lap. I don't screw up here, please don't screw up, please don't screw up. Please be fast, don't screw up. Here we go, finish line, and I did it in two minutes and two seconds. There you go, people. There you go. All right, two minutes and two, which means, in theory, since it's actually the Japanese luxury manufacturers, this means that basically this car won the race. If you want to believe it. Uh, I know what the competition is in between Lexus, Acura, uh, Le Le well, it was in between Lexus and Infinity. We introduced actually the Acura because Acura has to be represented by a car, so it was represented by this car. Um, uh, again, to remind you, the uh, the RC, the Lexus RCF did it in two minutes and seven. The uh, What's it called? The uh, Q50 or Rouge did it in two minutes and four, which out of the two won that one. But then introducing the uh, when I introduced the Integra Type R, uh, it uh, it did it in two minutes and one second, which means that this car, the one that you see right now on the screen, which I don't know what I'm doing this race, um, is the one basically that win the race. Uh, is it fair? Well, it's still a luxury car. I mean, not this car in particular, but Acura is a car. It's a luxury car, right? So they make luxury cars. So in theory, uh, in my books, this car won. But if uh, if you can actually uh, keep it fair and keep it, you know, uh, up, compare apples to apples, let's say, uh, okay, fine. The uh, the uh, uh, basically the uh, what's it called? Uh, the Infinity Infinity won the race pretty much. 
Well, my friend Danny, as I said, dedicated this to you. I hope you enjoyed the race and the uh, the game. I hope it was. I don't think it's gonna be very short as you wished, since you don't have too much time to watch these videos. Uh, again, I always go. I always go by content. I don't go by time. So the content basically dictates how long uh, this this these uh, games are gonna be or what how long this these videos are gonna be I hope everybody enjoyed the videos uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, press the thumbs up if you like the video press the thumbs down if you didn't uh, drop me a comment if you want to see anything in the future you want me to dedicate a specific video to you with a specific manufacturer a specific car whatever you want uh, please just drop a, a comment in the uh, comments box and uh, try to please everybody who asked me anything well thank you so much and I'll see you all around